Hi viewers, how are you? Hope you are doing very well. This is Dr. Shabir Khan with Watch and Know YouTube channel. Today our topic is risk factors for mesothelioma. Now I will tell you about the risk factors for mesothelioma. Most mesotheliomas are thought to be related to asbestos exposure. Asbestos is a mineral that is found naturally in the environment. Asbestos fibers are strong and resistant to heat, making them helpful in a wide variety of applications, variety of applications such as in insulation, brick bricks, shingles, flooring, and many other products. When asbestos is broken up, such as during the mining process, or when removing asbestos insulation, dust may be created. If the dust is inhaled or swallowed, the asbestos fibers will settle in the lungs or in the stomach, where they can cause irritation that may lead to mesothelioma. Exactly how this happens is not understood. It can take 20 to 60 years or more for mesothelioma to develop after asbestos exposure. Most people with asbestos exposure never develop mesothelioma. This indicates that other factors may be involved in determining whether someone gets mesothelioma. For instance, you could inherit a predisposition to cancer or some other condition could increase your risk. Factors that may increase the risk of mesothelioma also include number one, personal history of asbestos exposure. If you have been directly exposed to asbestos fibers at work or at home, your risk of mesothelioma is greatly increased. Number two, living with someone who works with asbestos. People who are exposed to asbestos may carry the fibers home at home on their skin or clothing. Exposure to these stray fiber over many years can put others in the home at risk of mesothelioma. People who work with high level of asbestos can reduce the risk of bringing home asbestos fibers by showering and changing clothes before leaving work. Number 3. Our family history of mesothelioma. If you are patient, sibling or if you are parents, sibling or child has mesothelioma, you may have an increased risk of this disease. Number 4. Radiation therapy to the chest. If you had radiation therapy for cancer in your chest, you might have an increased risk of erythema. Thanks, viewers, for watching this video. See you. Take care.